Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, The Breath of the Wild, where we are making our way down to that red pin. Um, we might actually encounter a Molduga along the way. According to my map, there's another Molduga in between here and there. And if we do, you know that I am definitely going to kill it because Molduga stuff is like super good um or rather um because it's like boss material um it's actually really like good stuff to have um another thing is that i want to head off into these two areas because i know there's a henox there's actually three henox right over here and we need their guts to upgrade some of our gear um so that's going to be the next thing that I want to do. I know that people were probably wondering, hey, now that you've beaten Vana Boris, where are you going to go? Which divine beast are you going to do? Uh, I'm not sure, actually, which divine beast is going to be next. I'm definitely going out there next. So. Uh, let me, since we're encountering a lot of, like, these guys... Um, let me equip the Thunder Helm. Um, because it's like electric keys and stuff. I found Lazal bow. And I have a picture of it already. Of course I do. Hey, I don't have a picture of the Thunder Helm though. Uh, oh no, that was my Gerudo Spear that I didn't have a picture of. I probably don't have a picture of the Thunder Helm either. So I should look into that. Um, bows, bows, bows. Let's go ahead and drop that. For the strength and Lazal bow. Yep, 25. I did want that. Alright. Um, actually, speaking of the, uh, Thunder Helm. So we can't really drop it. I've got to see if there's a way to get close to it so I can take a picture. Maybe not. Um, you know what? Actually, it's gear, so I probably can't take a picture of it. It's not weaponry and stuff like that. I just remembered that. So, never mind. I'm trying to take a picture of something that isn't even something you can take a picture of. <laughs> How about that? Um, well, I guess we're not going to be encountering any more electric keys at this point. That's alright. We'll just keep going down this way. Eh, we'll keep the Thunder Helm on because there are electric Lizalfos all over the place. And I would really prefer not to get electrified by them. So, the Thunder Helm is really good to have for this area. It's kind of unfortunate that they give it to you basically when you're done with the area, though. It's like, cool, I got an item that protects me from electricity and lightning. Except that uh, I don't get to use it when I'm fighting the lightning boss. And I don't get to use it at... Uh, any point in the game that actually would be like really nice to have it at. No, I get to obtain it now. When I'm pretty much done with this entire area. <laughs> so, but that's alright. What can you do? My sensor is going off telling me there's a shrine nearby, which I did already knew. Already knew? No. Um, I'm trying not to use the extra stamina meter right now because I only have one of them and I want to kind of save it for a time when I know I'll need it. So, cool. It's actually down here. I was like, do I need to climb up there or what? What's going on here? But nope, it's right here. In fact, where I have pinned is right here. So I just need to step over here so that it unpins. Hmm, what's all of this over here? That's interesting. This is the East Barrens over there. That's interesting looking over there. I'm done for. I just found the shrine too. 
Ugh, my throat. It's so dry. I can't move a muscle. As if this really is the end. I wish I could have one last taste. One sip. One sip of a nice, cold, noble pursuit. Ah. Well. Alright. This is Pocky. Uh, one of the, uh... Other people mentioned that. That, um... One of the people in Gerudo Town mentioned Pocky. Uh, I don't know if I actually talked to them or not. Um, but yeah, I do know somebody mentioned Pocky and that she had, like, gone missing. Um, she normally comes in and orders a noble pursuit, but she hasn't been around lately. Is what they tell you. And here she is, actually. Right here. <laughs> Conveniently hanging over the, uh, thing so that I can't actually warp back to the shrine. That's a little annoying. <laughs> hey, you found the shrine. Too bad it's going to be marked on your map, but you can't warp to it. Because you have to have a noble pursuit. That's okay. I know where to get one. Um, I just got to equip my Gerudo outfit real fast. And then we will head inside of Gerudo Valley. Or Gerudo Town. I keep thinking Gerudo Valley because of Ocarina of Time, but it's just Gerudo Town. I'm glad that it's a town and not a valley. Like, this game solved a lot of the issues that been, had been making Zelda stale for a while. Um, like, Ocarina of Time was a good game, don't get me wrong. You know, I will flat out tell you that it was a good game. Um, but I will also tell you that compared to a lot of games, it's bland <laughs> you know it really is and um it's just I don't know stupid Vo who needs them it's just it's very I don't know I don't know what the word is I'm trying to think of it Vasak a Hylian Vi huh I can't tell how old you are but this place is definitely not for young Vi because the drinks we make here are different from regular drinks. For one, they have a rare treat in them. Ice. Noble Pursuit. You want to try our signature drink, Noble Pursuit? Fortunately, I need a huge amount of ice to make that drink, and I'm fresh out right now. Besides, it's a really strong drink. Even if I could make it, I wouldn't sell it to a little vi like you. Actually... See, Pocky needs it, because she's kind of passed out in the desert. What'd you say? Pocky's collapsed? Hmm... I want to help her out, but I can't ma make a you-know-what without ice. There's ice at the ice house, but my legs aren't in the best shape for hauling ice. Should I get it for you? Aww. Are you serious? You'll get it? That'd be a huge help. Pocky is my best customer after all. I wish I could get the ice myself. Anyway, the ice house is north of town. Unk manages it, but I think if you explain the situation, she'll let you have some ice. You should know that she heads to bed quite early plan to go. You'll need to get there when it's bright out. Mm. Oh, young lady. Carrying ice all the way through the desert and then all the way to town? I can't let that stand. To bring the ice to the entrance to the ruins between town and the ice house, I can take it from there. A perfect drink. Alright, so she goes to bed early, which is fortunate for us because it just became day. So we actually have a lot of time to do this in. Um, so the ice house is here, and we need to bring it to the entrance right here. We have to go all this way with the ice. I'm guessing that we have to do it in a certain amount of time so it doesn't melt. Um, I don't know. I've never done this shrine before. I didn't even know this was a thing. So, <laughs> I did know that this shrine quest existed, but I didn't know where. So... Here's the, uh, the ruins that she's mentioning. I'm guessing that by the entrance between here and the town, I'm guessing she means here. So, since she can't be bothered to, uh, go all the way out there, clearly it's around here that she's referring to. So, are there enemies in this area? It 
feels like there should be enemies trying to attack me. There are. There's a Lizalfa somewhere. I hear him. Oh, right there. How about that? Uh, I don't suppose I have a... I was going to say, because this is a red Lizalfos. Like a fire Lizalfos. So... Also, it's hot, I just realized. I really should be wearing my Desert Vow outfit right now. Until I get there. Let's go ahead and equip... Or eat, rather, the, uh... No, that's too much healing. Um... I don't want to use that either. Alright, we'll just use one of the haste, the hardies. Um, yeah, let's use this one because it only gives us one extra heart. I just don't want to use too much, you know? So, I just don't want to use something that'll heal for way too much than what we need. And we really don't need a lot of extra hearts. Just the one is really good right now. So, it's just dealing with these Lizalfos. I'm guessing I'm going to want to kill all of them, basically, is the idea here. Because they probably, like, these guys got fair, fire arrows, for example. So, I probably want to kill him so that he doesn't shoot my ice and then melt it. Um, same with this guy over here. I definitely want to kill this one. Uh, do I have any ice arrows, I wonder? Yes, I do. You're dead! I love it. <laughs> um, I'm guessing that there's some trick to this. Like, if it hits the sand, it'll melt or something like that. And so you kind of have to do it without it melting. Um, and that's what the Lizalfos are here for, to prevent you from getting there. If I handle them first will be good. So, Northern Ice House. Here we go. <laughs> it sure would suck if these, uh, if this chain here got damaged. Because uh, that would then close on her. And now, to my knowledge, there's no way to do anything here to close this. So, that sure would suck if something happened and it got closed. Oh. Hello, this is an ice house used for storing the ice brought down from the mountains. Seeing as we live in the desert, it's pretty important stuff for us, Grudo. So I got the ice house 24 hours a day. Oh. I see. Well, if Ferosa wants ice, then you should bring her some. You're permitted to take some ice. You've taken the heat into account, right? If you move too slowly, the ice will surely melt. Ferosa has no use for water. Wait. <laughs> Perfect drink. Alright, so it's very chilly right now because we are carrying a great big thing of ice. Um, so I guess we just kind of have to go as quick as we can and hope that the ice doesn't melt too much. Um, I don't know if by melting it means it's just gonna like slowly get smaller or how it's going to get affected. But I guess we'll find out. So it doesn't seem like it's getting that much smaller at the moment. But there is such a thing as change blindness where without really taking you know, paying attention, you don't notice the change, so Ah, uh, crap. There are more Lizalfos up ahead. That's unfortunate. Does it actually look like it's getting smaller? Uh, oh, those aren't Lizalfos. Those are Bokoblins. So, let's dodge them. I'm guessing that the game added those in when I started uh, carrying the block of ice. Because they weren't there before. It is getting smaller. Very much is. I can I very much notice the difference now. So, there's that. Um, I need to get there very quickly. So, I'm hoping I can get there. Like, I don't know how I could go any faster than I currently am. So, 
Um, okay, so throwing it to the ground. Uh, well, it melted. How about that? Um, in that case, you're dead. In that case, we have some room to kill these dudes then. And maybe I can kill them. And they won't be back later. So I can just make my way straight through. Probably not. But you never know. Always worth a shot. Ow. Bam. And yes, I was correct. If you drop it on the ground, it does in fact melt faster. So I was right about that much. So, I wonder if I hold my ice rod, if it will make it melt slower because of the cold. I'm going to try that. Try carrying my ice rod, because it makes it cooler, you know? So, I'm going to try carrying the ice rod. However, those guys did just, whoops, hang on. Need to kill this dude. Guardian Spear is broken. Go ahead and pull out this. It seems like this would make it a lot easier by having these guys dead ahead of time. But whether I can do that is an entirely different matter. So I'm using my golden bow, and it's slightly obnoxious right now, actually. Because it keeps zooming me in, and I really don't actually want it to zoom in right now. Bam! You're dead. Frozen solid. I really didn't need to do that, though. Alright, so food time. Let's see, I actually have a lot of meat here. Eating that raw meat, because that's totally healthy. <laughs> there we go. So, because that's like super healthy, <laughs> indeed. Uh, actually, it's probably a good thing I didn't drink my hasty elixir, because now that I think about it, I can probably drink that um, on my way there this time and it will probably help out quite a bit uh, also one thing I want to check there was some ice that wasn't like ice ice like it wasn't ice blocks and I'm curious if that's something like if this is a secret or whatnot or if this is just ice um, so let's shoot it you, what's the idea of bringing that fire into the ice house? Get out of here with that. You're going to ruin our supply. Well, <laughs> I guess it's just there to make you want to shoot the ice and then you get kicked out. So, that's the thing. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. You've got to be kidding me. There were tons of mobs. I had to drop the ice and fight. Ah, uh, I figured as much. Even the Gerudo make, trans make mistakes transporting ice sometimes. Just grab another block and try again. Those mobs are probably all going to be back now. But at least I got a whole bunch of mob stuff. So. And if I switch to my ice rods so that's colder. Maybe it will help in slowing down the melting of the ice. Also, if I drink my hasty elixir. I'm going to regret this if uh, this doesn't work out. Um, it doesn't look like it made me any faster, actually. That's unfortunate. Speed up for five minutes. Oh, well. Maybe it was just such a low-level speed up that I'm just not noticing it, but it actually did speed me up a little. I don't know. So let's see if all of those bow goblins are still around or not. Hey, if I hide in the shadows, makes sense. I transport it through the shadows. Yep, those guys are all back. How about that? That's rather unfortunate. If I hide in the shadows, it cools down. So, 
That's something to keep in mind. Hide in the shadows to help it stay cool. But that makes sense when you think about it. So keep it in the shadows as much as possible so that it stays as cool as possible. I'm hoping that the ice rod also has an effect on it by helping it um because it you know lowers temperatures around it so I'm hoping that that also has an effect on it and helps cool it but the problem we're encountering is these fire arrows and the fire lizalfos that we encountered however it looks like the fire lizalfos did not spawn hey over here this way bring the ice over here it was just the bow cobblins so that's good hmm you're well whatever I don't care who you are as long as I get my ice looks like the ice is in good shape sark so with this I'll be able to make the ultimate noble pursuit sorry but could you please let Pocky know tell her that I made the best one ever and I got it waiting for her ah. knowing her she'll probably come running when she hears that there's an amazing drink with her name on it nice all right, now we just have to run all the way back to Pocky. <laughs> so there's that. Um, ask you to go back to Pocky, let her know. Okay. So yep, that is the next thing we gotta do. All right. So, uh, let's head on over there. I guess it's gonna take us a little while. I could warp to the nearest shrine, which is this one. But the loading time is going to be about the same as just running over there. <laughs> so, because I have the ice rod and I have the uh, sand boots. And so I will definitely keep cool on the way over. And I also have the uh, um, outfit here. And that helps with the heat resistance. <laughs> Plus I have speed up. My hasty elixir. So, that should help us get all the way back over there without much of an issue. In fact, let me come down here and remark that with a pin so that we can easily get back down there. If I had known that I was going to have to go away and run all the way back, uh, I would have waited. <laughs> on uh, removing that pin earlier but that's all right we'll just remove it when we get there it's not like it's a big deal so um in fact this seems like a good chance to go ahead and use this extra stamina meter by running all the way down there time to uh use all three stamina wheels here we go that tiny little bit of a sliver left because <laughs> if I run out of that other stamina wheel then I have to wait for my stamina to completely regenerate but oh well I'll do that do, 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 do. I'm slowed down but that helped that made us go a little bit faster so now it's getting night time um, I guess at this point I could if I wanted to Utilize the uh, the running glitch since I know how to do it actually There we go <laughs> If you whistle and then you rapidly tap the B button uh, You run without using any stamina. However, you do make a ton of noise Also, it's very tiring on your hands. So there's that um, If I had utilized this glitch to begin with uh I could have not ended up using up that stamina wheel, but oh well. <laughs> it also gets kind of annoying because it keeps going. It seems Epona couldn't hear your call because you are whistling over and over and over calling for your Epona. So, all right, I'm going to have to stop soon. There you go. I had, I had to stop. My hand was getting tired. <laughs> That's alright, we got here. That's what matters. Misei Suma. I'm done for. K 
can't take it anymore. I'm gonna rot here. Actually... Huh? Did you say, best noble pursuit ever? <laughs> I am gone! <laughs> I love how these Gerudo just, like, care so little about their lives that they're just like, Nope, I'm dead. This is it. This is the end. But as soon as something comes up and they're like, Yeah, so this is a thing, you know? It's like, oh, uh, I'm fine and I'm going to run out of here. Like, really? You care so little? <laughs> they just have no motivation, I guess. And Blessing Shrine. You say Suma's Blessing. I'm not surprised this is a blessing, though. So. Diamond! Nice! Isn't that our second diamond? Yes! Cool, we can actually repair the, uh, the scimitar of the seven, then. That's good. Because we'll want to do that at some point. Um, actually, uh, at this point, um, still in this episode, actually, I'm going to go ahead and warp to Heiteno Village because I want to get rid of the shield that I am carrying currently. And I have what I need to do that without losing the shield. So I want to do that. Um, after that, we will head down and, uh, continue from there. Pretty much done. Um. <coughs> <coughs> I've pretty much done everything that there is to do here. Aside from this shrine and the shrine that's over here. I think there's a couple more shrines up in the Gerudo Highlands, but we'll come back to those. Um. Let's go ahead and warp over here to Heiteno Village. Uh, this is Heiteno, right? Yeah, okay. This is where I want to go. I could not remember where Heiteno Village was. <laughs> Once I get more of the map, I start losing track of where things are on the map. So, you just, you get used to that, like, darkness around Heiteno, you know? It's like, oh yeah, I just have to go there. But then, like, once the darkness is all filled in, it's like, uh, where's Heiteno at? It's like, I don't memorize the location based on where it is on the map. I memorize, like, what it looks like. So, so I'm kind of dumb, but what can you do? Um, let's go ahead and equip our current best armor. This stuff. It's currently better than our soldier's helm because of that. Um, what was it that we needed to upgrade the soldier's helm? It was... Moblin guts? Yeah, it was. Okay. So I need to keep that in mind. Uh, where is... Oh, right here. I was thinking it was nearby. So... Um, you know, I think next episode we're going to go find Hess 2. Because we desperately need to find him, really. Do have 30 wood, which is good. Uh. Hey, you ready to deliver 30 wood bundles? I'll pay your price. Okie do. I'll grab them from you. Mm -hmm. All I needed to see, good faith wood. You're obviously serious about this, and now I know it. So as promised, I'll sell you this old house for the low price of 3,000 rupees. Once you've got the money together, come grab me. Oh. Hi. Did you get 3,000 rupees together? I'm ready. Oh. Seriously? You're really going to give me 3,000 rupees? Like, with three zeros? You aren't just posturing? I'll shell out. No way. Talk about studly. I'll just take that off your hands. Oh. Thanks for the sweet investment. Spending so much money on anything at your age, it's just so studly. That's a, there's a weapon mount in there that never sold. Consider it a housewarming gift. Hope you get some use out of it. Oh. So, next job time, baby. What I, what I have lined up again? Oh yeah, that's what's next. I was going to send Hudson up a collar way to clear some land. <laughs> this guy. I'm, I'm in the middle of moving here. 
Come talk when the work dies down. Oh, because he's actually like leaving somewhere. Uh, oh yeah, because it is becoming nighttime. Uh, well, in that case, uh, I think now's a good point to end it off at, now that we have our house. It's very empty. The only thing in it is a weapon mount. Uh, but this is the cool thing, right? So if I have a weapon that I really like, or like, I have a quest item, for example, but I don't want to clog up my inventory, I can do that, and then come back for it whenever I need. So, I'm just going to go ahead and hang my ice rod up there, now that I don't need it for the quest. Um, I also have the fire rod, which I don't know if that's part of a quest or not. Um, so I'm probably going to hang that up as well. Um, but in the morning, uh, we'll have gone to daytime so that we can talk to these guys again about further upgrading the house. In fact, I'll just come sit by the fire while I'm talking. <laughs> Um, uh, that said though, I do hope that you've enjoyed, if you did, there is a link to the playlist in the video description down below if you missed any episodes. Oh, Blood Moon! That happened. So, there would have been a Blood Moon this night. And when the game went to, when the game went forward to midnight, it hit the blood moon. That's unfortunate. I wish I had known that. I would have waited because you can get some really cool stuff if you wait for the blood moon. Um, that's alright. Uh, so next episode we will talk to these guys further and do some more stuff and then we'll make our way and go search for Hestu and the Korok Forest. So I hope that you've enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. See you later.